You has a flu. I have something for the flu. Oh no. We clean the office this week. I like big hugs and I cannot lie. <clears throat> We cleaned the office this week because we're preparing it to be Simba's room, and I found this. And Peggy Let found Simba it. kill it! <laughs> no. Peggy found it a bit confusing, but... Go on, Blake. I think I have, I have lipstick on my teeth. How are you doing this week, Tara? Doing all right. How are you? Yeah, speaking of cleaning, I don't know if you can tell, it's much nicer in here now. We got all the boxes and stuff sorted. I don't know how much of a shot you can see of actual studio. I but. don't see much. I see mostly green screen and like a little corner of Greedy's bed, but it looks very nice. Yeah. We did a lot of work on that this week. I I, I say we, I did, me. but, you know. I dusted all my Star Wars hippos and, you know, we're trying to minimize stuff he can knock over. Like, I got to get those pink bins are all my nail polish. So I got to get covered bins because he already upended one of those. You see, you're. Th this is. I had this problem with Grady. You try to anticipate, yeah, what they're going to. You you never do. You never know because they they and get like creative. My vanity has a lot of stuff loose on it, and my makeup is probably all the most expensive shit I own. So, and he he was walking across the vanity one day, and I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna work out. So I have to find like better organizers for all my makeup. So they want to know if you've been eating Smurfs. No, it is a little chilly in here, though. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. Uh, so it's time for the nonsense. And, uh, well, let's get the intro going. Then we'll we'll go from there. Yeah, let's do that. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you? And uh, I didn't think there was such a thing as the Terra signal. Oh, God. Until this week. I'm concerned what it might be. But uh, a thing happened that kind of had your name all over it. And I knew, I knew the moment this happened that somewhere you burst into hysterical laughing. Yeah. And had no idea why. <laughs> there was a reason I had no why. No idea why. Like I wasn't the one that did it. Truck carrying axe body spray explodes in Texas. Interstate 35 was shut down for eight hours. That wasn't, I mean, they had the truck cleaned up in one, but the toxic fucking fumes. <laughs> they had to let that shit clear. Belton, Texas, a semi-fire shut down a Texas interstate Friday morning. Officials in Belton say the truck carrying Axe body spray caught fire. The fire spray quickly and ignited the body spray. Cans of the spray exploded and launched from the truck, scattering debris along the interstate. No one was injured, but the interstate was shut down for more than eight hours for the cleanup. Look and, at all those cans. Look at the photo of just like the can graveyard. <laughs> That's is that amazing. Is that not the most glorious battlefield you've ever seen? Genku says, That's one hell of an accident. Oh. <laughs> you know, this, this would make me concerned about this product, honestly. Not really, because anything that's in a can that's pressurized is flammable. Like half the shit on my vanity is flammable. Yeah, just because okay, it's fair enough. Can. Fair enough. So, I mean, anything that comes in a can that's a spray is going to be flammable. Anything with large amounts of alcohol in it, which most fragrances contain, is going to be flammable. I just, how did what happened? Did the cans realize what they were and revolt? Or? <laughs> What and one can was like, gentlemen, we have a choice. 
Do we allow ourselves to be crammed in the crotches of dude bros? Or do we eschew the Chad armpits and find ourselves a freedom in the life beyond? Don't say Chad, that's incel slang. <laughs> okay. A day may come. There's actually a little bit of an intersection there with the Chad. It's also, it's also. Yeah, but I feel like they've taken it. They've taken, yeah, they've taken it. They've taken it from the women of color and people of color. Becky is still okay. Becky is fine. Yeah, you can, Becky's fine. A day may come when we are slathered on the, on the pecs of frat bros. But it is not this it day. It is not this day. Uh, you know what? If I was a can of Axe Body Spray, I would roll my dice on the next life, too. Yeah. Yeah, first, I'd be thinking, what did I do to deserve this? How can I not do it? A can of Summer's Eve <laughs> and just give women unnecessary yeast infections instead. Just this. Good God. The smell. Can you just imagine living anywhere near I can't, this? Like, that stuff smells bad enough as it is. Imagine it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Like, imagine burning axe. I know you're not going to get this reference, but this is how uh, a Return of the Living Dead started. Did it? I saw Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> You've seen every horror movie, so. This is how Return well, of the Living Dead started. chimed in on Twitter and was like, yeah, when we get axe in the truck, we fight over who has to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Because nobody wants to do it because you smell like it all day. <laughs> People, I can just imagine them in the loading bay doing rock, paper, scissors. No, no, you oh, you unload this oh. shit. You did it. I did it last week. It's you. You unload this shit. Oh, good God. Ugh. Like I've said before that I'm confident that hell smells like burning cat piss. That's like the bottom level of hell. The next level up, probably burning axe. That's that is that that low that probably like lowered the property values for a square mile. Yeah. Oh. That's not going away right away. Well, here's another thing. All right, just let's change gears a bit. Um in the past year, uh going through some of my dad's old stuff, going through some of my old stuff. You found some fun stuff. I have found some fun stuff, but I've also appreciated and taken great advantage of, I have no shame of this, the tax rebate you get by uh giving stuff to goodwill yeah you you can get you can get cut, shave some money off your taxes and since i am self-employed i don't know if you can with the new law can you i thought they got rid of itemized deductions uh, they raised them to a nasty yeah. degree but uh, okay regardless i have i have availed myself of this and, and also there is the spirit of generosity in, in your community you don't have something let somebody else have it take it to goodwill take it to a yeah. thrift store Okay, that's a good impulse, um, but that's that's not how this works. I mean, unless you have 20 extra old tube televisions, in which case don't just leave them on people's porches like someone did last week. Almost five pounds of marijuana found in tote left at Donation Center. Aww. Sarasota 4. Really consider it. <laughs> When a thrift store employee was going through a tote, he found almost five pounds of marijuana. There are hipsters out there who have blown all their money on ironic, ironic glasses and vans, and they can't afford their own marijuana. <laughs> Happened at the Pines on North Orange Avenue. Donations are frequently dropped off, and an employee noticed the tote was left sometime between Wednesday and Friday. He set it aside. He wasn't sure what was in it. Saturday, the employee went to look through the tote and found four vacuum sealed bags inside. He cut into one and found marijuana, then immediately called the police. You know, number one, it's not legal everywhere yet. Yeah. And also, really, would you want secondhand marijuana? I mean, I guess you don't know what they mixed it with. It's it's sort of like I don't know if you've ever gone to thrift like stores. It's marijuana cut with nightshade. I, I don't know if you've ever gone to like a uh, thrift store and they get like surplus from like big chains, and they'll put yeah. them they'll put them at the goodwill and whatnot, like all this leftover stuff. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I I don't know what mighty O's are. Um, I've never <laughs> heard of them. I think I'll pass. 
Do you, would you really want just, and now here's, here's some bargain basement marijuana we found in a tote bag someone dropped off in the middle of the night. I feel like there's a lot of people that would be cool with that. <laughs> you see, you know, no, no, this, this is kind of why we need marijuana legalization, just to raise the standard. Yeah. I mean, we had a guy last week that did a date date rate job and made egg salad with his rectum. I mean, are you going to are, are you going to really I mean, think about beer? Think about how widespread alcohol is in this country. Are you just going to take be are you going to buy secondhand beer off the shelf at the Goodwill? No, you're going to go and get some of the good stuff down at the liquor store. If you can afford it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If you spent all your money <laughs> on like food and rank because you're broke. Please, or won't you? Ironic t shirts because you're a dumb hipster. Please, won't you think of the hipsters? Exactly. Won't you help? <laughs> For just 19 cents a day, you could help a hipster get high. <laughs> Sad you? pictures of dudes in beards and glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Chicks and beanie caps. I know most people are going to be watching this on YouTube, so it's it seems strange how much I dunk on YouTube, but for every cool thing that this sort of, that social media and whatnot has enabled, it's also encouraged a lot of shit that not only is incredibly awful, but incredibly stupid. Yeah. Beach Grove, Indiana... Man arrested after dumping flour onto 68-year-old woman at Beach Grove Walmart. Are there... Be oh, it's... Okay. I was like, are there beaches in Indiana? But it's beach like the tree. That makes more sense. A man has been arrested after he brazenly poured a bag of flour onto a 68-year-old woman at the Walmart. The incident was captured on video by the suspect, Philip Weaver who then posted it online with the caption, pouring flour on lady's head. The video has since been taken down. Why? Why was, was it taken? Is that supposed to be funny, or? I guess. Look, I was a dick to a stranger. Ha 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 ha. Weaver's been taken into custody, facing preliminary charges of battery theft, Heft of a firearm and what? criminal mischief. There's nothing in the story that explains where the gun came into it, but... That's, that, that's kind of... That's an important detail. Look. Was the gun in the flower? I, it's, it's just a prank, bro. My ass. My ass. It's a prank if it's someone you know. And even then... Uh, and you and you own that flower. No. Like, uh, it's a shitty prank. It's you, a stupid prank. You do that to me, you won't know me anymore. Right, like there's no thought put into it, and it's rude, and it's stupid. But it's a prank when it's someone you know and you own the flower. When you just grab a bag of flour off the shelf at the Walmart and pour it on a stranger, that's not a prank. That's you being an asshole. There's a difference. We have monetized assholes. And not in the old-fashioned sense. Like, every time I walk by Dan in the kitchen, I grab his ass. I'm allowed to do that because he's my husband. He's contractually obligated to let me grab his ass. You guys have a strange prenup. <laughs> you can't just... If I, if I walked around in public grabbing dudes' asses, I would be arrested because that's not cool no. outside of a certain social contract. <laughs> no, I, I just... It, ugh, motherfucker. You know, back in my day, when someone monetized monetized assholes, it was an entirely different meaning. I mean, it still has that meaning. Yeah, but uh, I just it. It definitely still has that meaning. We we have, we've considered this to be acceptable. And not as a, as a general rule, most people, you ask them, they're like, no, you don't do that shit. But when you involve giving people money, 
We wish for the internet. Oh. Oh. This is why when people ask you, like, when you're like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, so what do you do? Do you porn? Yeah. 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 That... Freaky puppet scat porn. That is, and that is more socially acceptable these days. What have I become my sweetest friend? <laughs> I do like BDSM puppet porn. That's that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. This next one, I've got to give him points for originality and marketing, but uh, got to subtract a few because of stupidity. Um, Kuwaiti shop caught sticking googly eyes on fish. I, I thought this might end up here. Yeah. A fishmonger in Kuwait has been closed down for, yeah. for sticking googly eyes on fish to make them appear fresher. But I don't was... like seafood and I don't go fishing. But I can tell that's not a real fish eye. <laughs> I, I, I like, I'm not an expert. I'm not a marine biologist. Yeah, I'm I do. Sure that's not a real fish eye. That's that's not. I. How is this gonna work? Were, were people going to be like, oh, okay, this is the, the fish is still alive because look, its eyes are no, still moving. Look, his eyes are moving. How do you keep them out of water? Did you not realize when people take the fish home, if they were dumb enough to take them with them, they'll be like, they pull the eye off and be like, oh my God, honey, this fish has four eyes. Because some people eat the eyes, right? Yeah, that is a delicacy. So they're going to be pretty disappointed when that eye is not a eye. How the... How I mean, the, if you eat fish eyes and you buy googly eyes thinking they're fish eyes, I kind of feel like you deserve that rude awakening because you weren't paying attention. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I admire the hustle. Okay, cool. I, I admire it, but you're also an idiot. Yeah. I, not, not only like, that, Points for initiative, no points for execution. And on top of that, the reason that people don't buy fr fish that aren't fresh is they could die. It could make you very, very sick. Yeah. You, you could shit your soul. You could just, pfft, there goes your soul because you ate spoiled ass fish. So. I, mean, I don't know if it would poison your soul. Oh, yeah, your entire soul goes right out through your body. I mean, maybe if that fish had sold its soul to a demon? No, no, you, your soul, you, that, that, that's how your soul leaves your body, is through your butt. That's science. That's not what they taught me in catechism. <laughs> well, that's because that's religion, Tara. I am skeptical of your science. <laughs> I know you had the bad experience with the Hormel stew that one time. <laughs> <laughs> By God, that that was a, that was some bad experimentation. Let me tell you, <laughs> I had a bad experience. Oh yeah, you weren't around for that yet. He got no. like microwave Hormel stew or something at the gas station. No, it was at Walmart. It was at the Walmart. Oh okay, and he ate it. Yeah, and then he almost died. I oh. shit my soul. Yeah, like. He pooped enough, his hair started to shrink in length because it was just sucking back in. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay. Now let's go to Georgia. Georgia. I'm already not a fan of dentists. Uh, it's a necessity. I acknowledge this. I accept it. I do, you know, I, I try to do what I can to avoid having to go too often. But it's all, it's always, it's, I don't know what it is about the social contract getting violated by the fact it's like okay hi nice to meet you i'm going to put my hands in your mouth yeah it's it's I, I have put off going to the dentist for longer than i should because my mouth is a series of dental misadventures hmm. and uh so i'm a little phobic now so th this 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 is not going to help that this is not going to help that at all 
And I, I will point, this story is disturbingly short on detail, which doesn't help. Georgia woman faces felony charges for posing as a dentist for years. That's wrong. Atlanta, Georgia. The shot. She's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Sorry. Oopsie doopsie. Poe body's nerfed. Georgia authorities have charged a uh, Georgia woman who's accused of pretending to be a dentist. For several years, Krista Sewick uh, allegedly drilled, pulled teeth, and performed <laughs> surgeries despite having no training. No! That's wrong. It's facing a series of felony charges, including practicing without a license. She denies the. Related to my orthodontist, because I wonder if that was the same story with him. He certainly worked like he was untrained. Now this, this, this is just, this is one of those, oh God, thank you, Trump, for making this, this how people think they can do things now. She denies the charges and says she's the victim of a personal vendetta by the district attorney's office. <laughs> witch hunt. Fake news, witch hunt. Prosecutors say she's been practicing for at least seven years. There are careers you can undertake in life. Yeah. There are careers you can undertake in life that require no specific training, nothing that you have to do. Many things you can do that you don't have to get like degrees or certifications for. Yeah. Shit. Half of the things we do on YouTube. I worked as a freelance makeup artist. Just, I learned on the job at Sephora. I didn't go to cosmetology school, but I got good at makeup by doing it. Yes. But there are ways you can you there are jobs where you can kind of fake it till you make it. One of those dentistry? is dentistry. is not one. No. No, no, honey, no. Like how are you? Oh my god, drilling, P performing surgery. That's that's you know, professionals. Mangle my fucking teeth to the point where. My next dentist told my mother she should have sued them for all they were worth because I will never have good teeth unless I yank them all and replace them. Like, professional. Well, professionals, but professionals. With the training, with the degrees on their wall and shit. I, managed to fuck me up that bad. It's not, it's just the district attorney's office, a personal vendetta. You don't have a license! Why'd you fuck up his teeth too? <laughs> this is not a goddamn conspiracy. Yeah. The hell? Like people don't realize how fucking up dentistry fucks up the whole rest of you. Like an infection in your tooth can give you a heart attack. Um, Andy Hallett died of that. Yeah, I knew him I from had, uh, from Angel. I had wisdom teeth pulled. They did permanent nerve gen damage to my chin. And my chin is always a little bit numb now. Like, not completely numb, but a little bit numb. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's the thing that can happen. We forgot to tell you that. That we could just kill some of the nerves in your chin, pulling your wisdom teeth. Like, your teeth can fuck you up in ways you don't even understand. Uh, you, don't, you don't just let any fucking asshole with a pair of pliers in there. Nope. It's it's a vendetta is what it is. That's that's what happened. This is just a I have a vendetta against her. God damn. You got how many people went through Ugh. I wanna be a dentist, but the school is so hard. I'm just gonna be a dentist. That's not how you do that. That's like hard. I don't wanna like ugh, I don't wanna like do all that. There's there's no there's no short there's no shortcuts in dentistry. No, <laughs> that's right there below. There's no crying in baseball. There's, there's no, no shortcuts in dentistry. dentistry. <laughs> oh, so everyone else, I say everyone in the channel is going. Oh man, I don't want to go to the dentist anymore. You check some references. Yeah. You make you you can is that thing on the wall? Let me look at that thing you have hanging on the wall. Is that your real I going to the dentist? Yeah. This was not helpful to me. What's the next story? Spiders kill everyone in a small town? No, entrepreneurship. 
Florida entrepreneurs that can do spirit. You got a product, you want to move it in a new and interesting way? Well, you can do what these two did. Make a drive-in window through hell for heroin out of a mobile home. Okay. Oh, god damn, those are fat fake eyelashes, girl. <laughs> wow. Right? Florida couple was arrested all last crooked and janky and oof. Everything's let's, fake. Let's here. yeah, let's not even discuss the eyebrows. Florida couple was arrested last week after they were caught allegedly selling drugs out of a drive through window they uh. constructed out of the side of their mobile home. William Parrish, Jewer, uh, William Parrish Jr. and Mackenzie Dobbs of Ocala, Florida. Of course, her name is Mackenzie. And or, of course, it's spelled M-C, capital K-E-N-Z-E-E. -E -E. Were arrested August 23rd after investigators raided their mobile home following reports of Four drug overdoses. Call the police say the couple had turned a kitchen window into a drive through so customers would not have to constantly enter and exit their home, potentially drawing unwanted attention. The house had signs directing people where to drive and indicated whether it was open or closed. So, about that undue attention. Yeah, what's going to get more attention? People just coming over, or like a drive through lane and a sign. Or return, please call again. I, I got, they got a picture too. They got a fucking, they got a fucking picture. <laughs> and apparently they were selling shilly, shitty heroin. Yeah, well, it was, it was what, what, laced with uh, fentanyl? Oh, yeah, that'll fucking kill you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, window. Shiny Pikachu says, "Oh God, I don't want to see their breakfast menu." <laughs> like, <laughs> if you had put that energy, that entrepreneurial spirit, that initiative into literally anything else, I'll have the crack of dawn value meal. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you know, you know what I'm thinking. You could, if you were to sell stuff out of here, you could sell an Avon out of a drive through window at your house. Wouldn't that be cool? ...of pyramid schemes that people keep trying to get me involved in on Facebook. Yeah. You could sell shitty leggings. You could sell shitty makeup. You could sell... Does anyone sell shitty... Tupperware anymore? I. You could sell shitty Tupperware. Like, there's any number of stupid products that you can sell. Hell, drive through dildos. You would you make sell, money. You can sell paper wraps that they claim will make you lose weight that will do absolutely nothing except take $20 from you. No, no, think about it. You can have, like, outside, you can have, like, one of those, uh, those drive-up things with the speaker. And you can have a menu of dildos and different kinds <laughs> and vibrators and whatnot. And then people, 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 you wouldn't have to, people wouldn't have to get out of their car. No one would have to see them go into the store. I mean, they're going to see them driving up to that drive through though. Maybe, but you could like take your, you just, you just keep going with the guy. No one gets a really good look at you when you're they're driving. see them sitting in their car at the giant wall of dildos. I feel like that might actually be worse. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But still, that's legal. That's a thing you could do. It is a thing you could do. That you are legally allowed to do. You are not legally allowed to sell heroin out of a drive through window you made yourself. You're not. I'm... That. <sighs> to be fair, I don't think you can sell any of those legal things out of a drive through window you made yourself either. Well, I feel like that's probably a zoning issue. <laughs> especially in a mobile home. I mean... Like, I we have a few trailer parks in the area. There's not a ton of room for driving around. I, I love the look on her face. She's like, and? And? Maybe she's more concerned that her janky-ass eyelashes are falling off. Tara, damn. They're pissing me off. <laughs> it's bad enough we're apparently in an era where every makeup tutorial... 
every look has to end with fake eyelashes. Fuck that shit. I'm not gluing stuff to my face every day just to look better in a picture. But according to Instagram, you have to. Or your tits are going to fall off or something. I don't know. So is that a sore spot there, Tara? I think, look, I was a Sephora girl for three years. I managed to successfully wear false eyelashes twice. I don't like them. Oh, okay, well, I guess the first thing we've learned is if you, you know what, you can, that that get up and go self-starter attitude, that can help you in life. But you got to sell shit that's legal to sell. Okay? Yeah. I will grant that they were clever. Imagine if they turned that cleverness to something that wasn't that's what I'm saying. heroin. If you put that, that entrepreneurial spirit into just about anything else... You'd be in a better place. So stuff that's not the heroin. Especially heroin you cut with fentanyl or fentanyl. Yeah. Basically, you're selling death through a drive through window. Well, that, that is kind of McDonald's. Let's be honest. I kind of I, I kind of like McDonald's, too. Oh. I know, I know. But the fries, man... Oh. The fries are real good. We've learned you can do a lot of things in life without training. Dentistry, not one of them. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's the, and it's not like you can be like when they find you. It's like oh no, this will blow over. No, no, that's jail. Contrary to what Little Shop of Horrors would have you believe, you do need more than a sadistic personality. <laughs> Oh, we've learned that fish don't have googly eyes, and most people know this. <laughs> fish, fish don't have, they don't have Google. That's not how fish work. That's not where they come from. They're not actually cartoon animals. No. Um, we've learned that YouTube has destroyed us. Yeah. It has ruined us as a people. So, I, way to be part of the problem, you and me. Yay! Just contributing to the downfall of society. We've learned you can't get a tax break on your donated uh, marijuana. That's too bad, because that was probably worth a lot of money. That's true. Yeah, I mean, how much of a tax write-off are you getting on that much? Five pounds of marijuana? I mean, I don't know how much five pounds of marijuana is worth because I'm a square. And we've but learned a lot. We've learned that even Axe Spray doesn't want to be around Axe Spray. Mm. It would rather die. <laughs> as that is they in a fiery ball of bro rapture. You know, compared to the alternative, I don't blame them. I would rather blow up than have to be rubbed on bros too. Yeah. Good God. The smell. I know the burning. Oh God, that. I would move. I'd be like, baby, we have to move. We just we can't mm -hmm. live here anymore. It's like it would be like the four horsemen of the Jersey Shore. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Bro apocalypse. Bro <laughs> Now I want to do that movie. <laughs> Bro apocalypse. Yes. Where like the four horsemen have like popped collars and sideways <laughs> visors and those Adidas flip flops and shit. <laughs> Pestilence is just a cloud of axe boxes. <laughs> like like Jaeger. War is always starting fucking bar fights for no reason. <laughs> Where are the other two? There's death. What's the last one? Shit. Famine. Famine. Famine's doing the cleanse, bro. 